Hey everybody, I thought I would tape another tape tonight. I'm trying to hold the laptop and not move at the same time. The camera is giving me fits tonight. I can't get it in the right spot because I'm trying to hold the laptop and trying to get inside the camera at the same time. Plus, I'm sitting in a chair that moves back and forth. So, it's a bitch all together. If I was sitting at a table or something, it would be a whole lot better. But I'm not. So, here we go. I watched the movie Marie Antoinette. And it was really good. I liked it very much. Um, if you like stuff like that, I highly recommend it. If you're a guy, you probably wouldn't like it. But if you're a girl that likes that sort of stuff, I would say that you would probably be interested in it. Anyway, I liked it and I enjoyed it. It was very long. I did fall asleep one time and I had to go back and rewind and watch it over. But So I did fall asleep one time. Anyway, um, what was I going to say? Um... The phone did ring tonight, and it was a guy that I talked to, oh, a couple times before, and, um, yes, hello, brother, hello, sister-in-law, I just feel like they're watching these now, but he had wanted phone sex one time before, and, anyway, being the bitch that I am and slut that I am, yes, I give it to him, and, um, Anyway, I told him that tonight was not the best night to call me or talk to me because I wasn't doing anything like that tonight. Um, and I told him it was the very wrong time to call because I wasn't in the mood to talk to men anyway. That I'd been stood up for the second time this week. Well, second time within two weeks. And I just wasn't going to get into any sex chat tonight. Um, seems like that's m what men always want when they talk to me. I don't know if it's my voice or what it is, but when I get on the phone and talk to people, that's the first thing that men will always want is me to talk dirty to them, which is so stupid. I just don't get it. I don't know what it is, but the fuckers like it, so whatever. Um... Sometimes I'll do it, sometimes I won't. Sometimes I do it just because I think they're so fucking stupid if this gets them off. It's just stupid. It's just so fucking stupid. Anyway, moving on to other things. I told you all that um, I was still really upset about Steve. And if everyone knows and see my other videos, they know who Steve is. Steve's the guy that I broke up with, or Steve's the guy that broke up with me over in January. Um, he should have done it during Christmas, but the lazy ass decided to drag Christmas out. And, um, he decided to drag Christmas out and go ahead and wait to break up with me after Christmas. I don't know why he didn't just tell me during Christmas and get the saga over with. Um, I'm struggling with being without him, and I'm not going to deny that. And if he watches the videos, hi, Steve, how you doing? How you doing with your new love life, and how you doing with your new woman? Hope she's treating your kids great, too. Um, best of luck to you, by the way. You lost a good woman. Anyway, um... I'm still struggling with it, and I'm not going to deny that, because I never got a chance to say goodbye properly to his kids or anything like that, and that really hurt me, and um, I really cared about his kids and everything, and I think I should have had a right to at least say goodbye. Um, those kids were very special, and they were special to me, and that hurt me as well as losing him. So anyway, 
Um, I'm still having, I still have feelings for him, and I don't think that right now is a good time for me to start trying to find other people to go out with. I've determined that today. Or I determined that over the night that I talked to my dad and I was very upset. I've determined that I should wait and hold off on meeting anybody or trying to meet anybody because I'm not over the Steve thing and it's just going to cause me misery and someone else misery too. Um, I was in love with Steve and I still am and it's not doing me any good to look for somebody else and it wouldn't be doing that person any good either that I would supposedly find to date. So it's just not a good ball game at all to get into. And if Steve is watching, I hope you found somebody really good. Or if you're not dating anybody, I wish that you would reconsider thinking about dating me again. But I know that won't happen because you cannot deal with my problems. Or so you say you can't. But, you know, I'm really a nice person and I don't really understand why you can't deal with him. I know I'm kind of like talking to Steve right now. That's just kind of in case he sees this or goes back and actually looks at the um, new videos that I put on. <coughs> um, I'm a good person and yes I have my problems and we all have our fair share of problems but um, well anyway. Um, I'm not going to get on that topic anymore. I'm just going to leave that as is and go on to something else. Because, um, he had his time and if he wants to contact me, um, I'm sorry, I keep, <coughs> <coughs> I keep coughing and as I cough, everything moves. If Steve does view these videos, he has uh, my phone number, and he can call me, and he knows how to contact me, he knows where I live, so, um, he has, um, all options open there to do that, and I wouldn't be mad if he did. So there, I said that, and I got that out there, and, um, I am trying to work on myself in case he wants to know and I am trying to work on losing weight I've joined my gym back and um, I'm getting started on that <coughs> so um, well I've got to get something to drink I'll be right back hold that thought